in our last video we have created this application and uh, we have used some of the CDS annotations like displaying the columns and then adding this ID with the text field and we have also seen how to add this search criteria the default search field now in this video we will be adding another search field here and uh, that will display the airline names so let's start so this was our code which uh, we have written and used some of the annotations so in order to add a new search field for the airlines since we want to add the same field in the search so we will be adding a selection uh, a ui annotation here which is ui dot selection field and then on which position we want so we do not have anything yet so the position will be the first position or the 10th okay so let's activate it and uh, now refresh so we got our search criteria here with the airline and which has the f4 help as well so if you now try to search it with aa and click on go you will get the desired result here so searching is working here but uh, when you click on this f4 help you are not seeing anything populated here what the expectation is this pop-up should display all the listing whatever coming here like the id and the airline names so we already have seen how to add this f4 help in one of my previous video but let's do it again in a little different way so we our expectation is to show the airline name and code in the f4 help so for that first we will create a, a new cds view which will get the airline name and the airline id from the table which is a uh, carrier table okay so let's create a new data definition and uh, let's give a name z underscore i underscore carrier value help uh, carrier value help here and uh, click on next carrier value help click on next and uh, next and we will define a simple view here click on finish so we have this new CDS view created and our data will be coming from SCARR table CRR table and uh, the fields which are going to be here are uh, our carrier ID and uh, as CARR ID and the carrier name as CARR name okay now the SQL name Quickly put this and to make it shorter, remove the names. Okay, now we need to add this to our uh, CDS view onto the F4 help. So, how to add it is we want to add that F4 help here, right? Select after the selection screen. So 
there is another annotation which is a consumption annotation where we can use another CDS view into the current CDS view okay so consumption dot and now what we want to display we want to display the value help so value help definition now there are a couple of uh, properties which we need to set here what entity we are going to add here okay so very first property is element which element will be attached to it so the element will be carrier id i want to add it onto carrier id and what is the name of your uh, value help so value help name is z underscore i underscore c a r r i e r underscore v h okay and uh, that's it so using this annotation you will be getting the f4 help added Try to activate it. It is activated and uh, let's refresh it. Let's see what the issue is here. So we created a new one. Okay, so we haven't defined a key field here. Okay, so key field is required. Let's activate it. And uh, now refresh. So this time it worked. Now click on this, and our values are got loaded here. Okay, so this is what the expectation was here now the next thing which we want to add is let's make it a little quick here rather than showing these values in the pop-up we can also show it as a drop down here with multi-select okay so there will not be any pop-up but this box will be converted to a drop down and all of the airlines will be loaded here as a drop down so the use case could be when you do not have so much of values then rather than showing the pop-up with five six values we can show the drop down here with multi-select so let's make a small change and uh, let's see how it looks so for that we will go to our uh, new value help CDS view and we will be adding a new annotation which is object model annotation and uh, a result set dot size category and the size category would be small x x small so as soon as we add this let's see what happens object is activated and refresh okay so you see the difference here now rather than f4 help showing here it is showing a drop down and when we click it it is showing me the airline code and the same airline code in the bracket as well but you still can select multiple rows here and the filter will also work so a a and a z both are working here now my requirement is rather than showing this a a and bracket in place of this a a i want to show the full name like american airline british airline so for that we we need to add the same thing in the annotation which we have added for the 
for this thing right we have added two two annotations one is text element annotation and text arrangement so these values are coming from the cds view this one so we also need to make change in this cds view only okay so for that we have already seen the object model dot text dot element and uh, which is the field field will be carrier name so this carrier name is having our full airline name and then where do you want to display it so for that we will be using our annotation text arrangement and where do you want to show i want to show the text first and then the carrier ID. let's activate it and uh, refresh now so now if you see you will be getting the carrier full name and then the abbreviation as well or carrier id as well in the bracket and uh, let's try to filter it with american airline and az click on go and the filter is working now the third annotation which we are going to see is i want to make this drop down a mandatory selection field so before clicking on go button something should be entered here so i want to make this field a mandatory field a required field for this filter criteria okay so for that we have uh, another annotation which is so uh, the field which which is getting displayed is again the carrier id so selection field is also on this and the consumption value help is also on this so our mandatory field will be this only and we will be adding annotation to this field carrier id so for that we have again a new annotation which is consumption dot filter and uh, give it a bracket and we have uh, mandatory is assigned true and uh, let's see if it works or not so it is activated and uh, let's refresh it okay so now it is has become a mandatory if there is no no values in this then it will turn out to be red and you cannot uh, load the data without putting the value in this and as soon as i select the value it becomes a normal drop down and click on go and our data is loaded if i remove this and try to click on go button it will make it as a required field and you will also get a red star here which represent the mandatory field and uh, we have a different options here so if you if you click on the refresh button and as soon as it loads it shows you a red required field what i want is i want to set a default value in this search field so that when it is loaded it should show some value here rather than showing it in the red color so for that we have another property here which is default default value and our field value is american airline which i want to set it as a default value which is multi select assign true and uh, selection type is 
single activate and then we can we need to close this and uh, we run the application okay so now you see a default value is appearing here with american airlines so once you use this last annotation it looks like you need to restart the application otherwise it will not show you the values so we have set it mandatory true and default value ea multi selections is true so if we want to select the multiple values we can select here and click on go button and all of the data is getting displayed here that's all for now in this video thanks for watching if you like the content please consider subscribing my channel thank you